So what does Startup Canada mean to me? I think that Startup Canada represents an opportunity to solve three huge challenges that are facing most entrepreneurs. Um, a lot of us are actually in the services sector as opposed to products and technologies, That's myself included. Um, a lot of us exist inside very small firms. Uh, and a lot of us are facing growth challenges that we're not necessarily able to figure out how to respond to. And so we stagnate at a particular size of organization. Um, so on the subject of the service sector, I've got a few friends who run, for example, construction renovation companies. Uh, highly successful individuals, great clientele, um, but they don't know where to go and get the support and help they need to be able to expand and grow their businesses. Um, these are people who are extremely good at what they do, um, often trades-based, but when it comes to developing marketing plans and HR plans, um, they just don't necessarily have the skills they need. And a lot of the types of organizations that do exist to support small firms and innovation traditionally focus more on the tech-based groups. And so for me, one of the things that Startup Canada represents is an opportunity to connect a wide range of entrepreneurs who wouldn't necessarily come together, who wouldn't necessarily be engaged by traditional innovation support groups that government run uh, to be able to help each other. And that can be young entrepreneurs who are currently in business schools, who've got some great ideas and participate in clubs that help the community, being willing to take on board maybe some of these um, service sector firms, construction firms, and give them advice and guidance on how to grow and develop, maybe even working with them to set plans, maybe even engaging some entrepreneurs with an academic base to lend some support. So to me, that's one thing that Startup Canada could do uh, and that I hope to see happen. On the issue of firm size, um, I mean, I think most people know that the average firm size in Canada is, is between six and seven people. Uh, we've got like over a million SMEs. Um, many of those are sole proprietorships. So in reality, there's only about, uh, I think the number is somewhere between 1,800 and 1,900 large firms all across Canada. And the rest of our businesses are under 500 people, and the majority of them are between that range of six to seven individuals. So that's a small firm. So take a look around your dinner table. And if you've got a brother and a sister and a mother and a father, then boom, you know, maybe one friend's over, there's six people. That's a company. And we expect these companies to be able to grow the Canadian economy, to be able to compete in international markets, to be able to export, to drive revenue back to our country. And yet there's six people. That's like your mother takes on your international marketing plan and your father is looking over accounts receivable and your friend is doing HR hiring and your brother and sister are working on the technology product or service that you're delivering. And you've all got to be able to tackle all these challenges. Um, that's a lot to do for a very small group of people. A lot of large firms handle that no problem because they have more than 500 people. But in Canada, we're predominantly SMEs. So this size issue needs to be addressed. And I think most government programs... Um, are typically more geared towards larger firms, or if they think of an SME, they think of an SME as somebody having between 25 and 50 people. They don't see it for the reality of what it is, which is six people sitting around a dinner table who are running a business together. And I think that there are some challenges there that need to be addressed. And a lot of the tools and support that need to be provided to those groups needs to be scaled to the level of a six to seven person firm. And I think Startup Canada in its campaign to find out what entrepreneurs need um, as it runs from one end of the country to the other, might be able to really advocate for this issue of size and how solutions can be delivered to a particular size category of firm. And on the final issue, um, just had a little note here, um, on the growth challenge. Uh, I come from a small consulting firm. You know, we've fluctuated between 6 to, to 12 people over a, over a particular period of time, about 10 years. But we've never necessarily managed to break through that barrier and become a much larger organization. And there are all sorts of challenges. The day-to-day -day operations kind of get a hold of you and you can't necessarily plan uh, to grow. Um, you're more so sustaining the business rather than building and growing the business. You know, and I think that having a wide range of entrepreneurs that you can reach out to at any time that are part of your local community who've gone through similar challenges, who may have failed but have learned a lesson, or who have been highly successful in growing their organizations, and especially those that are in similar sectors to you, represents an incredible opportunity to get advice and guidance from those who have lived it, those who have bled in the trenches, if you will. And so I think that Startup Canada, possibly the biggest thing that it, that it has to bring to the table, 
is the sharing of knowledge and experience between entrepreneurs who've gone through similar challenges and who have succeeded or who have failed and learned and being able to share that advice and guidance so that we as a country of entrepreneurs can grow and become more successful. And to leave you with a, a small parting thought, although I've just kind of begun the research into this organization, there's a group in Germany called the AIF, started in 1954, and it represents uh, a collection of 50,000 SMEs that band together because of you know, one particular reason. They need scale. There are a whole bunch of SMEs. They know they wouldn't be able to tackle a lot of challenges on their own. For them, they're mostly targeted at R&D. And what they do is they pool their resources together to tackle major R&D challenges and then they share the results of that research and development openly, pooling the IP amongst their community. And I think that Startup Canada might represent a really neat opportunity to you know, band some of our resources together, and whether that resource is money or it's knowledge, time, experience, whatever you want to, to pool together. But we pool together, and then we look at trying to tackle challenges together, maybe identifying in this cross-Canada tour the top 10 biggest challenges that entrepreneurs face and pulling all of our resources and time and energy to solve those 10 challenges and then move forward and pick the next 10 the next year or two years later. But I think that this idea of achieving scale that we can't achieve because many of us are SMEs or operate on our own is an important thing that Startup Canada can bring to the table. So I'm Mark Waters. I work with Startup Canada. You can find me at mark at globaladvantageconsulting.com right now. And I'd love to hear from you if you like any of these ideas. Thank you.